Welcome to the Apostolic Bookshelf, where divine revelations and transformation await. From various corners of the world, remarkable pastors will lead you on an inspiring quest through the pages of life-changing books. These anointed hosts will delve deep into the inspiring works of the renowned Apostle Johnson Sulman, and cover hidden treasures, ignite your spiritual fire, and be empowered to impact your world. Don't miss a single episode of Apostolic Buckshell. Tune in every Thursday and Saturday and embark on this extraordinary spiritual journey. Get ready to be inspired and transformed like never before on this divine adventure. Apostolic Buckshell. Discover the depths of divine wisdom. Welcome to Apostolic Buckshell. Apostolic Buchev is a program where we extray the works of Apostle John C. Suleiman, God's choice servant, a renowned preacher of the, of the gospel, my own spiritual father. This program gives us opportunity to give highlight, insight about the transformative work of our spiritual father, Apostle John C. Suleiman. We, 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 we extray the works, his book, that God has helped him to write to be a blessing to the world. So welcome on board. I'm your host on today's show, Pastor Cory Jokumagbe is my name. I'm the privileged national pastor of Omega Fire Ministry, Kenya. So sit back, relax, as we move on to this show. God bless you. Get ready to be inspired and transformed like never before on this divine adventure, Apostolic Buckshelf. Discover the depths of divine wisdom. On today's episode, we shall be looking at chapter 7 of Battle for Arrival, where Apostle John C. Suleiman spoke extensively on the power and the force of the Holy Ghost, the force of speaking in tongues, and the power of sacrifice, using the character of Jesus. So in chapter 7, Apostle John C. Suleiman, in this book, uh, let us know the principle, the strategy to arrive in destiny. Using these three pillars, don't forget the force of the Holy Ghost, the power of sacrifice, and the power of speaking in tongues. Unlock the secrets to your spiritual destiny with Apostle Johnson Sulman's Game Changer, Battle for Arrival. Dive deep into a transformative journey, battling hindrances and kindling an unwavering faith. Every believer's must read, this book reveals the path from struggle to arrival. Unearth profound insights, embrace your battles, and arrive at your promised land. Get it now on Amazon. Step into your destiny and turn every challenge into a triumph. Get ready to be inspired and transformed like never before on this divine adventure. Apostolic Buckshelf. Discover the depths of divine wisdom. Now, are the key insights in the principle for arrival that anyone that must arrive must understand this principle, this strategy. And one of them is the force of the Holy Ghost. As explained by the Restoration Apostle, in battle for arrival. The, the force of the Holy Ghost is one of the principles to arrive. So any man that must arrive in destiny, in every sphere of life, in every dimension of life, must understand the force of the Holy Ghost. And Apostle John C. Suleiman uses the, the character of, of Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ, despite the shame, despite the mockery, despite the persecution, he could arrive in destiny through the force of the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 10, verse 38, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. With the Holy Ghost and power. You see, the Holy Ghost is, is, a, vital, is, a, is, a, is a vital thing to consider if you must arrive. The Holy Ghost is the third person in the Trinity. No wonder when Jesus was about to depart, having understood that what gave him the, the capacity to arrive, to finish well, was the Holy Ghost. He told the disciple never to leave the upper room, to stay in Jerusalem until they are endued with the power from on high. Until they are endued with the power from on high. 
So if you are watching me, you are listening to me, and arrival is what you desire. You want to scale high, you want to fulfill destiny in every dimension of your life. So the Holy Ghost is a character you must consider. The Holy Ghost is, you see, our Father the Lord, Apostle John Suleiman, once said that any believer without the Holy Ghost, the whole he goes. Any believer without the Holy Ghost, without the Holy Ghost, inside whole, he will go. The whole he goes. So what does that tell you? Any believer without the Holy Ghost will be buried in shape. Any believer without the Holy Ghost can never have a voice, will be muted. So if you must arrive in destiny, you must understand the force, the, the, the power of the Holy Spirit. On the key insight, number two, as explained by our father, the Restoration Apostle John C. Suleiman in Battle for Arrival, you see the, the power of speaking in tongues, that any believer that must arrive in destiny must understand the place of tonguing, the place of tonguing, the place of tonguing. One of the things that has built me personally is Tongue of Fire. Tongue of Fire is on YouTube. Uh, 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 and and you, 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 you just see our Father and the Lord speaking in tongues for hours. It, it has built me, especially when I'm praying at night. Tongues of fire has built my spirit uh, personally. So one of the ways to arrive in destiny is not to have battle, to be battle free. You must understand the place of tonguing, the place of speaking in tongues. Acts chapter 2, the Bible said, while they were in the upper room, while they were praying, the Holy Ghost fell on them and they started speaking in tongues. They started speaking in tongues. They were speaking in other tongues. One of the things that tongues does to believers is that tongues bring out your best. You cannot be muted by your word. You become a voice to your generation. You become a voice to your generation. You, you become... you. You become battle-free, a battle-free believer. You see, the, the disciples, the disciples, before, before the Holy Ghost fell on them and they started speaking in tongues, nobody knew them. Nobody knew them. Nobody recognized them. In fact, Peter was, Peter was ashamed of himself. Peter ran away. But when the Holy Ghost fell, the Bible said boldness came. Capacity came. People gathered. And that is what tongues does. When you begin to speak in tongues, in the night you are speaking in tongues. In the, in the morning you are speaking in tongues. One of the way to arrive in destiny is that you must understand this, the, the place of tonguing as a believer. As a believer. When you, when you open up your spirit, barako shataya, le kotabaya, le brekotamaza, ibarakatosa. You see, Jude chapter 1 verse 20, he said, building up yourself in the most holy faith by praying the Holy Ghost, praying the Spirit, praying the Spirit. When you are praying the Spirit, you are building up yourself. You become too heavy for the devil to stop. You become a, a, a trailer without break. The devil cannot stop you. you. You discover that, see our Father and the Lord, Apostle John C. Suleiman, is a man of tongues. That's why you must go to YouTube and, 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 and watch Tongues of Fire. Go and watch Tongues of Fire. It will build your spirit, I tell you. Your life will be transformed. Your life will never remain the same. The color of your skin will change. So ladies and gentlemen, you want to arrive in destiny? You must understand the place of tongue. The Bible said, while they were speaking in tongues, all trans came. All trans came. So another thing that tongue does to you is that it gives you utterance. You speak with an articulation. You speak, you speak, you, you, you speak with articulation. You speak and the devil hear you. You speak and you become un unstoppable. Anyone that must arrive in destiny, according to this book, The Principle of Arrival, you must understand the place of the Holy Ghost, the wind. The wind can blow you. 
You see, my friend, this is just a tip of the iceberg. You need to go read this book. Go to Amazon. Get this book for yourself. There are more things you need to see. There are more insights. This book is too rich. It's too rich. There are more things embedded in this book that you, you will read and uh, you, you will marvel. So I recommend this book for you anywhere you are watching me from. Uh, study, read this book. Take out time to pray and study this book and, uh, and speak in tongues and you see that your arrival is sure. One of the pillars in the principle for arrival, the strategy for arrival, one of the pillars you must, you must lay hold on, you must, you must see as something that is vital and significant if you must arrive, is the, the pillar of sacrifice. The pillar and the force of sacrifice. And the, the author, Apostle John C. Suleiman, uses the character of Jesus that Jesus arrived in destiny by using the power of sacrifice. So any man that is a follower of Jesus must understand the place of sacrifice. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that he gave sacrifice. Jesus sacrificed himself. And that is why today Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father. So if you must arrive in destiny, sacrifice is one of those things you cannot do without. Sacrifice is one of those things you must, you must see as, as a priority. You must see as something that is so significant. Do you want to arrive in destiny? Do you want to arrive maritally? Do you want to arrive financially? You must key into sacrifice. The sacrifice of your time, the sacrifice of you joining a department in church, the sacrifice of giving your resources. So you must understand the place of sacrifice. Psalm chapter 50 verse 5, he said, gather my saint. The Bible said, gather my saint, who has entered into a covenant with me by sacrifice. Any man that must arrive must understand this pillar of sacrifice. Sacrifice, initially sacrifice is painful. But note this, the harvest is always buoyant. The harvest is always uh, uh, something that will wow you. So I, I, I challenge you. I, I encourage you. As you study this book, you will see more benefit of sacrifice. You see more, more things you get to gain when you venture yourself into this and, and lay hold on this significant pillar of sacrifice that pushes men to arriving in destiny. I recommend this book for you. Get ready to be inspired and transformed like never before on this divine adventure. Epistolic Bookshelf. Discover the depths of divine wisdom. So one of the pillars to lay hold on to arrive in destiny is the pillar of the Holy Ghost, the force of the Holy Ghost, the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, the Holy Ghost is one of the, one of the, the power that pushes you to arrive in destiny. Now, this Holy Ghost, how do you mingle with this Holy Ghost? How do you get to know this Holy Ghost? How do you walk with the Holy Spirit? Number one, you must be born again. You must be born again. My Father and the Lord uh, 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 told us that you cannot be a part-time Christian to fight a full-time devil. So, you must be born again. You, your relationship with, the, with, with God must be cordial. And number two, you must be intentional to set out time to fellowship with the person of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a person. Just like the way husband and wife, they, they, they have time for themselves, time for communication, you have time for your friend, you must have time. You must be intentional to have it time for the person of the Holy Spirit. Number three, you must understand the place of meditation. And how do you meditate? You meditate on God's word. 
meditate on the Bible. And as you do that, you get to mingle with the person of the Holy Spirit. You get to know him more. You, you get to know him more. You, he become your friend. He become your friend. So these are some of the things you must apply to mingle with the person of the Holy Spirit. Another application is sacrifice as a spiritual investment. The first thing I want you to know is that there is power in sacrifice. You see, the truth is that you cannot do without sacrifice. Once you are here on earth, sacrifice is a necessity. And also you must view sacrifice in the, in the cycle, knowing fully well that sacrifice is an investment. Sacrifice is an investment. So no man on earth can journey from point A to point B without sacrifice. What is sacrifice? Sacrifice is what you, you, you give, is what you do to gain something in the future. Sacrifice is, is an investment. The investment of your personality, the investment of your time, the investment of your resources. But we are living in a world where sacrifice has been abused. There's a lot of misconception. There's a lot of talk. There's a lot of stories. There's a lot of uh, argument on sacrifice. But you know what? You cannot do without sacrifice. You cannot do without sacrifice. You can, any man that must, if you must go far, you must know, you must understand the place of release. Sacrifice speaks of release. Speaks, sacrifice speaks of you giving out. You see, after eating, what happened? You go to the toilet. No matter how we are, how sacrifice has been abused, you must continue to give. Noah, Noah gave. Noah gave sacrifice. And what happened? The Bible said, God said, I will no longer curse the earth. I will no longer curse the earth. So you sacrifice is something that is a necessity. It's a necessity. And he, 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 no, he, he doesn't have to do with your money. Sacrifice does not have to do with your money. Sacrifice can be your time. It can be your resources. It can be your energy. What you, anything you, you do that take from you is sacrifice. And when, any, anytime you don't let go, you can't get to where you are supposed to get to. So I encourage you, apply the force of sacrifice. It works. It worked. It worked for Abraham. Sacrifice worked for David. If our Lord Jesus Christ, which is our bedrock, which is one of the pillars we are considering today on this, the principle and the strategy for arrival, Jesus Christ understood the place of sacrifice. He laid down his life. The salvation you enjoy today was because somebody gave his life as a ransom for you. Someone gave his life. Today you plead the blood of Jesus. You call the blood of Jesus. Somebody split his blood and you are pleading it. You, you call on that blood. So I encourage you, for you to arrive, you must understand the, the power of sacrifice. Sacrifice is an investment. What you give today is what you receive tomorrow. What you plant today is what you harvest tomorrow. So I encourage you to to. to Plant a sacrifice so that you can arrive in destiny. You see, we live in a world where sacrifice has been abused. There's a lot of controversy. There's a lot of issues. There's a lot of talk, a lot of stories on the, 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 the topic sacrifice. But the truth is, no matter the, the talk, we cannot do without sacrifice. We cannot do without sacrifice because if our Lord Jesus, whom we follow, that is our bedrock, was a man who sacrificed. The salvation we enjoy today is because somebody laid down his life. 
Our Father and the Lord, Apostle John C. Suleiman, he, 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 that wrote this book, didn't just write it. He's a, he's a sacrificial man. That is why he's encouraging every reader of this book to also be sacrificial. For example, for example, every every Saturday, our Father and the Lord feed thousands of people. Those who are not even members of the church, feed the whole community. Those who are not even Christian, they come to the church to eat every Saturday. I've, I've, I've heard from him that for the past 15 years, himself and our mother and the Lord, the dynamic mother, Reverend Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman, they've been feeding widows for the past 15 years. And that is, that is exclusive of other things they've been doing. And mind you, this program is not just in Nigeria, it, it happens in abroad. I've seen our father and the Lord, he have done it in Cameroon. He have done it in, uh, he did it in one of the European countries. Student on scholarship. You see, you cannot do without sacrifice. You cannot do without sacrifice. So I encourage you, I encourage everyone to, to apply the force of sacrifice if you must arrive in destiny. It's one of the one of the tools to use to contend battles for arrival. Get ready to be inspired and transformed like never before on this divine adventure. Epistolic Buckshelf. Discover the depths of divine wisdom. Sacrifice is one of the weapons you must use to fight battles if you must arrive in destiny. You as a man I want to arrive, you as a woman watching me right now, you want to arrive in destiny, you must use the power and the force of sacrifice. Right now we go on a short break and when we are back, we'll be answering some of your questions. Stay back. God bless you. Get ready to be inspired and transformed like never before on this divine adventure. Epistolic Buckshelf. Discover the depths of divine wisdom. Welcome back, viewer. It has been an amazing journey taking you through this impactful book by God's Choice Servant, Apostle John C. Suleiman, tagged Battle for Arrival. At this juncture, we shall be taking you through some of the questions we have here. And question number one says, I have been a believer for many years, yet I don't feel the powerful manifestation of the Holy Ghost. Why might this be? So from your question, as a believer, I already know that you have the Holy Spirit inside of you. But what you are looking for is this big charismatic way or manifestation of the person of the Holy Spirit. The peace, that peace you have is the Holy Spirit. The, the Holy Spirit come to direct. He come to give you peace. The Bible speaks, uh, speaks of joy in the Holy Ghost. So the joy, that joy you have is that Holy Ghost. So don't wait till, until you start manifesting in the bigger dimension. The Holy Spirit comes to give you wisdom. He come to give you understanding. He come to give you stability. He come to give you boldness. He, he come to give you confidence. So, I like you to know that the the little the little the little things you you have right now comes via the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. And we have question number two here before us, and I take it. Apostle John C. Suleiman speaks of sacrifice as a significant principle. How can I determine what to sacrifice in my life? Yes, according to our Father and the Lord, that sacrifice is one of 
the thing you must do is, is so significant that you must arrive in destiny. Now, how do you know what to sacrifice? Through prayer. Tell God to lead you. Tell God to lead you. As you pray, the Holy Spirit can speak to you. God can appear to you and give you an instruction. God spoke to Abraham to sacrifice his son. So, the Holy Spirit, the, the, God can lead you on what to sacrifice. On what to sacrifice. The sacrifice of your time, the sacrifice of your resources. This, uh, the, don't, anything you give out of the flesh, you must be led. The Bible said, they that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So be led to sacrifice. You must be led to sacrifice. Anything you do out of the flesh cannot, cannot give you a blessing. Anything you do out of your will cannot, cannot deliver blessing to you. So you must be led by the Spirit of God. Let, let the Spirit of God lead you. Let the Spirit of God lead you. Get ready to be inspired and transformed like never before on this divine adventure. Epistolic Buckshelf. Discover the depths of divine wisdom. Live within the community of good people. Those who have what you are looking for. Connect with them. Connect with good friends. Understand spiritual education. Read books. Attend seminars. And with that, you'll be able to launch yourself into a higher realm. You break boundaries. Going beyond just, not just speaking in tongues, but to assessing other realms and dimension in God. Thank you for joining us on this section of Apostolic Bullshit. Until we come your way next time, on, as we bring to your doorstep another exciting, impactful, and transformative work written by our Father, the Restoration Apostle, John C. Suleiman. And it is tagged the Nehemiah's anointing. I want you to anticipate. I want you to, to look forward to this insightful book. And this insightful material tagged the Nehemiah's anointing. You want to know what the Nehemiah's anointing is all about. So until then, keep winning. The Lord bless you. Your time has come. Get ready to be inspired and transformed like never before on this divine adventure. Epistolic Buckshelf. Discover the depths of divine wisdom. Thank you for joining us on this journey of enlightenment and empowerment. Stay connected with us on our social media platforms to receive updates. And don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, and share buttons to spread the inspiration. We value your thoughts and feedback, so leave your comments, questions, and reflections by emailing us. Looking for more life-transforming wisdom? Visit www.amazon.com to explore several books by Apostle Johnson Suleman's. Tune in again for more impactful episodes.